gonna start soon apparently the new commands don't work so don't use them they're not even new commands they're a fucking stream labs command they just don't want to work Bleh. they don't want to work like dsp you guys BBC. peanut butter complexion style this goes we are about to see something I'll be that monkey. How are you, fat man in my phone? You play Rainbow Six Siege all day when I'm home. And all from day South home. Carolina, weighing in at 292 pounds, the you Superstar. So much on the line here tonight, guys, like as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, but we're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that. Money is to be made and spent. All right, I'm gonna switch the screen so you can watch the the battle royale. Oh wow, and the camera is on. Big up. I'm gonna turn it off. There's no reason for this to be on. Get that ass, Visualize me, nigga. Visualize me, My wide open and cheek spread. Make sure to go and uh, check out this video by Bad Moments in DSP history. I'm sipping tea on this Saturday afternoon. What are you sipping? Because you shine so bright. You look like the sun. Even in the middle of the night. My mod should be doing this. I gotta play. All day slay. All day slay. Farming candor, can you please do bang? Shout out to Big Cheese. Fuck Kiwi Farms. Jokes on men. I'm going back to Brandy. Got black Kenny Bagan. Prozac. Kenny Bagan. Prozac. Black people black. From Seattle, Washington. Oh yeah, it's the guy. Yeah, this one is cool as fuck. I already saw this uh, this character being made and, and coming out and everything on a previous stream, but it's always good. Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's where the title's been taken in long enough. Hat, vest, goatee, <laughs> the bottle. Is, is that a bottle? Is it a cup? D S P. Cause you shine so bright. The scammer. You look like the sun, even in the middle of the night. I'm in you more. Carrie 
Now today, outside of uh, the proper primer that I wanted to finish, I also want to look at some other instances of um, DSP and, and WWE Champions and stuff like that. Maybe some other stuff. I got about like three hours, then I gotta go out. Some of the things we've seen but it's alright, let's listen to Money by Lil Richie. Yeah, what can you say? It's not necessarily what you want to see from a potential oh, you, superstar. Man. That's for sure. To see who's gonna be the next one to come out. Is going to cause trouble. Who's gonna cause trouble? Going back online. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. I don't have my lurkin, I don't have my timer. Lurkin? Okay, we're back. Yo, who is this boogie? It's the boogeyman. Fuck yeah, why is the t shirt destroyed? This t shirt is destroyed. <laughs> Rip Boogie. Uh, oh, yeah, the Champions Archive. I, I think I remember that. I'm gonna check it out if it still exists. <laughs> the shirt is destroyed because Francis destroyed it, you guys. He became Francis. It's like Hulk, but for the lol cows. Oh my god, this tea is so fucking good. Who's gonna be next? Come on, stop teasing. Is it gonna be LTG? Alright. Oh, it's, it's Nick! It's the feasting beast. <laughs> Nick. Nick Okado, Avocado Dude. This guy is incredible, I love him. Nicholas! Nicholas! Ladies and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. This is amazing. was here for this match, just so we can hear him say that face is absolutely destroyed, though. Look at all those scars. Is this from Mugbangs? It's Mugbang scars. <laughs> oh my God, he's massive! Holy shit! I don't know who's gonna win, though. I'm gonna watch this whole thing, even though it's pretty short. Maybe it's it's just uh, it's just highlights. Wait, what? Give Blood got a strike for the DSP quote video. I saw this video today. The quote video. Holy fuck! How did this even happen? Uh, does it say who sent it? Why is this guy still? Oh fuck, shut up. Does it take who sent it? Might be Super Poppy acting up again. Oh, hate speech. Yeah, that. I, I don't know. I don't know. Might be him trying to take it down. I don't know. I don't know though. Might be a rogue agent. Oh, did hold on? Did did Susan take it down? It got actually Susan because of hate speech. I can't believe this. So so yeah, they admit that they host hate hate speech, but not his is okay. When you clip him, that's not okay. That's not allowed. Holy fuck! These dudes are destroying each other. Holy fuck! LTG is, is annihilated, and he's like the the fittest one. Holy fuck. Nah, he can't he can't possibly hope to actually rebrand himself. And and everyone will forget everything he said. He can't really hope that. That's not possible. There's always gonna be everybody who's gonna walk around and posting those clips. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my god, a super kick from LTG. Amazing. Chris Chan lock DSP. <laughs> oh wow. Now Christian and Nick both fighting over DSP. Wow. Wings and LTG getting it on. It's like it's a one on one. And now Wings is the one is the most destroyed. He got super curb stomp. Uh, Big Ops Manuel, welcome to the stream.
I want somebody to superplex uh, Nick off the off the top rope. I want to see that. If if Wings and Nick superplex each other, it's gonna collapse the ring. I think it it is possible in this game. It was possible in the previous one. Could LTG bench press Wings? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I I think no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Wings is way too thick, man. Come on. Oh, now Wings and DSP teaming up. And then they betray each other immediately. Oh, wow. DSP got him eliminated. This is uh, an over-the-top rope kind of thing. DSP got cut by Wings. Destroyed. Man, what if Christian wins this? This is going to be awesome. Scoop slam from behind. Scoop slam. Oh, slam. Oh, and both at the same time. I don't know if it was finisher or something, but it was uh, pretty synchronized. My god, LTG is taking it. He's getting annihilated, bro. Which low cow is the fattest? I don't know. It might be Amberlynn Reed. She's, she's very, very significant in size. Very. But Nick is also gigantic. But he used to not be. Oh, and now it's just LTG and Nick. Big Nick. Chris Chan left. He's about to pay a visit to his mom. Oh, wow. He lifted him. Look at this. Oh, my God. Michael. He broke him in half. No pinfalls, though. Getting up, uh, Get him up and throw him out. Throw him down from the rafters. Oh my god, he reversed him. Is he gonna go to WrestleMania? Okay. Oh yeah, he's... Okay. Wow, what a fucking throw. Very nice. Alright, he's asserting dominance. He should do like a frog splash or something. He's gonna destroy him. Come on, do a frog splash. Do a shooting star press. Oh, and the cool thing is he, he's in flip-flops. Look at those flip-flops. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, that would probably go to Wendy's instead of WrestleMania. We would just prefer that. Because you can't eat the belt. Why would you have a belt when you can't eat it? Oh, and LTG is going out. There's no way he's going to stay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely terminated. Look at this gorilla press. And thrown out. With amazing massive dominance. And Nick reaffirms himself as the guy. I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at this one. This from uh, Dick Stroke and Phil. Let's actually start up this stream. And uh, yeah. I forgot how to send this in chat. Anyways. This is, you know, Dick Stroke and Phil. We're going to watch this. DSP throws a tantrum. Real talk. Real talk. Unless I have a good day on Monday, I'm not going to have enough funds to actually have my normal day off on Tuesday. Oh, no. Has anyone ever called you a drama queen? You know, there's a common denominator in all your problems. It's you. Oh, yeah. This intro is great. Dummies. Because that's exactly what band, you are. Band, 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 hey, good morning, uh, Lost Tapes Adventure. The game has been on the whole time. I'm actually a virgin. Uh, a quick recap of yesterday, I guess. Nothing happened. Uh, he begged, I think. He was invaded by ants. He started a stream late. And yeah, it was. Thanks for the money. Yeah. It was a DSP stream. Inappropriate for all ages. What is going on, everyone? Phil here, and welcome. What is to going the on, everyone? So let's talk about what I did today. And I got a special appeal that I have to make to those of you who watch on demand exclusively. I need your help right now. The first stream was Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Reminder: I make no ad revenue on any of those videos on YouTube because they all get claimed. If you can. Please contribute to that playthrough. You can tip, you can pledge to my Patreon, you can do many things to help out, and I would appreciate it if you would go above and beyond because I make nothing on the videos when you watch them. Now, 
The late stream tonight was Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Kirby in the Forgotten Land is super tough. Everything is very difficult. It's very fun, but man, it's a completely different experience from the chill very experience fun. that I've had on Elden Ring. This is like hard as oh hell. Oh my god. When's Kirby gonna end? Now. I love this. Uh, the, the skipping through all the bullshit talk about Elden Ring. Man, I'm so fucking tired of him talking about it. In general. When he I stops talking about it, I might actually buy the game. A lot of fun today. But only when he stops talking about it, it's completely done with it. Because I don't want to associate Elden Ring with Phil. But this was the third straight day that support has slowed down dramatically on my streams. Uh -oh. It's one thing if you have one slow day. It's one thing if you have a couple slow streams or two slow days. This is three straight days in a row where I'm not hitting these goals. On none of these streams did I even hit a tips goal where it was like tier two, put on a hat or anything like that. Why do I think this happened? It's very simple. The I had trolls. birthday marathon where things went really well. He and literally said it was the trolls. Because so people said that Phil didn't need support. The rest of the week is just a, you know, <laughs> calm week. We don't have to support or nothing because he's fine, right? This week, I have two very large bills that come due. The two of these bills equate to around $900. <clears throat> no exaggeration. $900 worth so of bills. He's gone. <laughs> and all that money that I made the next couple of days. I gone. love that. It's all gone. It pays. I love that moment. Everything is gone. They're gone. <laughs> it's like somebody actually robbed him. Cat, everything we had, it's gone. Welcome to the real world. It's like you got fucking robbed. Speaking of robbed, remember when when the leaks happened and he claimed he got robbed because he had to pay somebody to clean up after this? Oh, it was hilarious. It I got robbed out of a thousand dollars. They robbed me, yes. Then he doubled down on it. So... I'm in a situation where I'm like, oh, the birthday marathon went really well, right? Now, if I just have a few normal days over the weekend, I'm good to go for the week. And then what, what are normal days? Slow day, slow $150? Day, and it sucks. I don't like talk, sharing this with you guys at all. I don't want to have to unless I have to, but I have to appeal to you for help now. Here's why. Kind of seems like he always day. has this since he's always talking about it. Has there been a day when DSP doesn't talk about money? Has there been a day when he doesn't mention the fucking goals? Outside of that weird Christmas marathon that he did, that the gimmick of that was that he wouldn't beg. And and he was repeating it over and over again. Today, you guys, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything about support. It's, it's just that kind of day. I'm just so appreciative of you. I need to hit my goals. And he was, he was reminding you that he didn't beg this whole time. On Monday, my tips goals, okay? Just being honest. I need to have two good streams, okay? Thanks for being I'm honest, ring, We're doing fun end game stuff we're in the final third of the game now where it was all piss easy oh phil steamrolls it which is what you guys like oh to and see. he fell asleep okay? during that stream. i have to ask for a favor please <laughs> a favor contribute on monday in some way whether it means like a pledge to my patreon a tip would be stupendous because a tip i can get immediately it could actually help me for my day off on tuesday i'll probably have enough for groceries but as it comes to like having a meal out with my wife or getting pet supplies and the like and everything else that i usually have to do i actually was supposed, i'm supposed to do a dump run this week or a go dump, to the garbage dump and that costs money yes you actually have to pay money to throw out your trash in washington state <clears throat> I'm not it's actually to... it's actually really bizarre because uh he talks about going to the dump a lot and having a lot of trash and then ants suddenly show up out of nowhere and he has no idea where they they show up from after admitting that he keeps a bunch of trash inside enough trash that you need to go to the dump to get rid of and not just throw out in your bins but his bins are special because he's lives in a special community do it that's why that that is why he can't work around any issue in his life because he's special unless i have a good monday even with the money that i made on my birthday i don't have enough to have my normal day off on tuesday because i've had all that money is gone slow days don't care still don't care so Please, if you can, if you like my content, I'm imploring you, if you can support me on Monday, please do. All right? In any way that you can, is much appreciated. It's very important or else I'm kind of screwed on Tuesday, which would really suck. All right, guys? All right. Thank you so much. It was You're a good welcome. day, despite the fact that it's slow financially and support-wise. Thank you guys very much. Please have a good evening. I'll see you in the morning. Peace out. Please don't. basically basically and there was also a, a another video that i think i liked or maybe it was this one uh the ad revenue oh this the the thumbnail for this is great it's it's maximum stroke maximum stroke look at this fucking mouth who has a fucking mouth like this without having something having happened to them uh let's see though let's continue from 
the previous time I was doing this shit. Uh, proper Primer WWE Champions Part 4. I don't know how many parts it got. Hopefully it got more than 3, because last time we watched 3. Um, I'm kind of confused right now. Here, I'm going to find it. The Pig Roach Files. I need to go through all these videos and the, the these ones specifically. Let's see this one. The DSP goes west. Gotcha Addiction 1, 2, and 3. And 4 didn't happen? We need to find proper and ask him why. We need to have a confrontation segment live on air. You got caught the fuck out, dude. Where is part 4? Where As is it? it continues on, we'll cover it still. You know, maybe not. I'll attach on another part later down the road. If Phil ever reveals the fact that he is playing this account. Oh, okay. So we're never going to see it. We're never going to see it. If, if Phil reve reveals that he plays it. Uh, who else talked about it? I think it was... I think it was secret... Uh, what was it? Top 10 DSP moments 2020? And there was a part... Yes, this one. Because this is a godlike video. This and number one, I think, was Champions. Or the Bankruptcy. Yeah, here it is. So let's watch this segment. Because it's, it's truly fantastic. Uh, and it's very long. Hold on. What is this we have a lot of games vr stuff hmm, i think it's this one burnell productions then we got me and... okay. i'm looking at the paypal account that you have sent me one has twitch interactive uh this is a bankruptcy okay hold on because i can see candy crush on some bullshit hmm Let's see, DSP, WWE Champions. Because I want to see how the line app exactly works. And I want to have somebody explain it to me because I'm too stupid to figure it out. All right. Sounds good. Uh, loses his mind. Yeah, this is... Uh, this, this was also a meltdown. This was like 15 minutes of looking at the map screen and walking around in, in Fallout. And talking about the line app. I'm not sure how it works, dude. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. The WWE Champions Archive. But this is all the times that they've been asked. Uh, that they asked him some shit. And, and he responded with some very genuine reactions. Let's let's go and actually watch them. A silly one took me a dollar. Says, great gameplay. I consider this the great gameplay. newest day. Newest day. It's like one newest day. That's not a word. I've gone down from the rafters. Okay. I consider this the newest day and gone I've gone down from the rafters. Uh-oh. What does this even mean? What? <laughs> uh Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the dollar tip. I have no Gives you a whole segment say. about not understanding <laughs> something. Okay then. Going down. Just from another the rafters, guy. Another weird message. I've no control. Just another. Oh, my fishing rod bro. Shit. <laughs> I love it the the best thing is when he pretends he doesn't understand it and then says, oh, it must be one of those piece of shit, human waste of space, waste of skin, pieces of shit, human trolls. Must be their fucking thing. Because he both deflects it and pretends he doesn't know about it and then blames it on trolls. Let's see the gun show. What is and the gun the show? The gun show 84 guys? did a 200 bit chase. You're going to love this game. All right, ah. I do. I've been waiting a long time to play it. Okay. Everyone's been telling me it's good, so I hope it's good. <clears throat> okay. Are you gonna say how you don't know what the gun show is about? Oh no, we got nothing from this. Uh, Miles Morales, $20. Have you caught an iron dragon yet? It's a rare fish on some of the islands. I caught one today and accidentally released it and had to find another one. No, I've, I've not I've caught any. No, right, right. What? I've never heard of it. I haven't seen it either. Is he gonna get lean? No. I don't know what the iron dragon is. I guess it's a, it's a character. About that. That was I a guess tough it is. Though. Um. Hey, what's up, Luke Cage? Call me brazy to be How's brazy it going, to guys? What does the gun show mean? What does I the gun don't show? Know? Mean? What are you talking huh? about? What does the gun show mean? <laughs> In reference to me, I have no idea. A gun In show is a place where DSP. they uh, publicly sell guns. A lot of people in the United States have an issue. Yeah, this is a bullshit one. I've seen that before a lot. Big Red Stew. I have no idea what you're talking about. Big Red about. Stew. I have no idea what you're talking about. He's no hard feelings about the other day. What? I, I don't even recognize you. I don't know. It's probably some stupid detractor shit. Yeah, you see, it's probably some stupid detractor <laughs> shit. Um, <laughs> I don't know, bro. 
I don't know. Who are the placeholders? This one is also uh, cool. Joe Taco 13 Shooty says, who are the placeholders? <laughs> huh? I don't know what the hell that means. This was his guild at the time. <laughs> I love a, a 40 year old dude with a vest trying to pretend he doesn't know what you're talking about. Huh? What? What? What is the gun show, man? What? No idea. <laughs> No idea, are man. You mean Who are they? Game? You mean in uh, regards to um, place holding? Why do I get? Why do I guess? It's another fucking meme of some sort that I just don't understand, right? Yeah, you see. Um, all right, let's head to the I south. just don't understand it, you guys. Come on. Um, Coolito to the dollar says, I don't know who he is. People are saying Gun Show 84 is a scammer. Oh, well, I'm. I don't know anything about that. I don't. I don't know anything about that. that. Bitch, she. <laughs> like old Horizon sent me a dollar thirty. So what, what Bro, you... there's no way that's not him. The fucking down from the rafters guy. There's no way it's not him. It's actually the, the no way it's not him. So so many ridiculous fucking circumstances and and weird like what is this? This with him on with the toilet paper on his head. I don't know why he fucking did that. Sometimes he decides to ham it up and goes like full ham, and then. The next stream, he shits on Ninja for dyeing his hair. So yeah, I'm very confused by how DSP works. Um, but maybe we can watch some other DSP-related type of situation type of stuff. Type of things. Uh, not WWE Champion. I don't know. What is, what is this? What is this? Huh. So just enveloped in oh uh, is this one Greed gonna be money. the I need money I need money I need how money. nice I just received a charge back <laughs> no lie charge back for a $30 no tip show your phone back in fucking July what is it oh, at the wow. end of July I got a bunch of tips from this asshole who was basically like insulting and shit and that what he's doing is systematically trying to claim every single one back so I just got a $30 charge back how fucking yeah, nice well like I have to I'll deal with that sucks. later <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I was 10 years old and saw you on TV working your magic, Paul, it's time for dinner. Wait, what? No. Wait. <laughs> Bro, this is not even WWE Champions. Select. Or maybe I, I just have absolutely no patience for any of this. That's Dolph Ziggler right there. First time we're seeing What the fuck him. is this? This Battlegrounds. Oh, yeah. Fuck out of here. This is not even Champions, bro. DSP getting caught, getting caught with the tips. That's that's the thing. Bulls weren't him, but a troll. There's no way. Imagine you you spend all this money to pretend you're DSP. Oh, let's see the proof. Or is this? Uh, uh, hello everyone, and welcome back to a DSP video. But um, I can fake votes. Oh, is this gonna be his uh, writing pattern? Server. Yeah, the spelling and the, the thing. Yeah, that was one of the things. I just want to see how the fucking line app works. Come on, tell me, DSP. Line app. All right, sounds good. Uh... See, I don't know. There's been so many stupid conspiracies. I don't even know how to... I also want to figure even, out how this shit how works. How do you even discern between them anymore, right? When there's so many. I, and the thing is, if I bring one, like, for example, there's one going on where people claim that there's some application out there that I've never some used. Some application? It's called Line App. And they're like, oh, well, we found that the cell phone number that we know is yours because it was doxxed on the internet years ago, that that cell phone number is somehow associated with Line Hey, Big App. Up Squid Hustler. What's now, up, man? How's Line going? App is an app that I guess is used for, for people who talk behind the scenes when they play mobile games. They talk so behind the scenes. That because there is a line Oh app yeah, here it is. Hold on, yourself. hold on, hold on, hold on. Line app optional. Okay. And this is in there in the faction when you when you get to pick the faction or when you join the faction or when you open the faction. That's what you see. Line app is optional. So I guess they use the line app to let's see. Cell phone number associated with it. Let's find that that out. means you play mobile games and spend money on them. Let's see like, what it actually means. What? Like, how do you even associate that with that? And people keep bringing this up, like, just, like, two days ago. Someone on Twitter's talking about it. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know anything about this app. I don't use line app. I don't even know what it is. And these people just say this shit. And then, yeah, like, I was okay, thinking also so it's kind of like a Discord substitute. 
how did I, when people brought this up like a year ago, when I first heard this conspiracy theory, people were like, well, how could this be possible? I was like, you realize if what you're saying is true, okay? If what you're saying is true, that this exists, this line app, and that somehow there's a, an account with my phone number, anyone could have done that, right? Because my phone number has been, was public years and years ago. If you remember when I actually registered my website, okay. that fucking website doxed all my information. Yeah, no, that's not what we're talking about. Shit. So that's been public for how many years? Okay. So but they how can't. Is that how is that evidence? Uh, because in order to use the app and what the phone actually does, it's like, why is he pretending like he doesn't know fucking two-factor authentication? Uh, yeah, I can definitely add comments video on the Christmas thing. I'm, I'm gonna remember that. Uh, not, why is he pretending to not know what two-factor authentication means? You just verify your phone so they know it's associated with you. But you verify it manually. So if they could find his phone number linked to line app, then he fucking verified it. And there's nobody else who can verify it unless you go in his house and you steal your phone, uh, steal his phone. I don't even understand that at all. Like if my if my phone number has been doxxed years and years ago, right? How is it? Like like I'll be honest with you, people have really gone out of their way to fuck with me in regards to like stupid menial trolling shit. Like sign up fills fucking emails for dumb spam and stuff like that. There's nothing you know like I mean? that though. So it's not how that works. It's basically up to the point where like my information is so public. Everyone like like for example, I can tell you right now. I guarantee you, someone went out there and registered me for every fucking website under the sun. They have my name. They have my address. Um, okay. They have a phone number. That's yeah, associated. but those websites you gotta confirm the link right they send you a link back to your email you click on it and then you activate your account this is how shit fucking works so they could use darksidephil at hotmail.com to register him for pornhub but unless he opens the link that he gets on his address he's not gonna be registered it with me so this is a very very pathetic deflection that doesn't really do anything they have an email addresses right i have my public email addresses you guys know them. I guarantee you people sign me up for everything, all right? So that's like okay. that's like saying, oh, there is a website that has an account that says Dark Side Phil. It has an email that we know is yours associated. Okay. So that way, there's evidence you use that site. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, if it has the Dark Side Phil at hotmail.com, then yeah, and that's the email that's associated with it. It it is. That's what it means. Because the dude is he's legit. I don't know if he's pretending to not know what it means or is just dumb but that's not how the internet works nowadays this is like basic security they send you a verification email and they send you a verification text on the line app how exactly like that for anything right now using my public information but the thing is they they whip themselves into such a frenzy with this information that they then act like it's what? evidence of anything it's evidence of nothing anyone with a logical brain can say what are you talking about like phil was doxxed a million years ago and all his information is out there there's, there's probably people on the internet who impersonate him all the time everywhere right so how is that evidence of anything but the thing that really gets me is apparently this line app and again i don't know much about it. i've never used it apparently the line app is apparently. used for many different things it's a, i guess it's a chat app it's like you chat on it yeah like a million other chat apps yeah okay so how does an evidence that if, if I, anyone had a chat app with my number or whatever. How is the evidence that it's used for a mobile game or that, that? You know what I mean? So is he saying that... What? I mean, I, I get the point, but this is effectively see him confirming that he used it. It was like, what? Like, so even fucking if, bizarre. if that is the case... Even if that is the case, okay? It's, it's evidence of nothing. But you see what I'm saying? Like, they, they literally... But uh, what do you mean it's evidence of nothing? There's a dude called They Call Me DSP with They Call Me DSP's phone number in a fucking, uh, in a guild, faction, whatever, in WWE Champions, right? And then they find out that Phil has a line app account that is used for this fucking faction so people can talk to each other. Come on. It doesn't take, like, an actual person explaining it to, to somebody. It's pretty fucking basic create this insane situation where 
it's just it doesn't even make sense logically but that's evidence of something how it's does evidence. it not make sense and that's what it they makes, do is like, they, it makes literally more sense to believe it's dsp than believe it's an impersonator who is also spending thousands of dollars to make trolls go and on on some wild goose chase that basically they're not gonna find anything and just accuse phil it makes so much less sense for that to be true than a guy who has admitted in the past multiple times and he has said exactly which games he has spent exactly what amount on well not exactly but he spent money on it's not really much of a surprise that this dude is spending money again so which is more logical which is more logical they, every conspiracy somehow because there's 20 million conspiracies that they made up about me somehow they all become a body of evidence that says i'm a bad person or something it's like but none of it is true it's all they're all shit. evidence towards the same point and it all kind of matches uh, additionally it matches when there's a uh, dude uh, tj gamebox on uh, twitter on kiwi farms he he tracks dsp he also plays the game there's also like times when he's been on break during his streams and been active in champions it's like coincidences like this just don't happen and they're not logical and it just doesn't make sense it makes way more sense for the guy with previous history of mobile gambling to be mobile gambling wow blows your mind right that you made up or people hey what's up farmer enjoy your dinner the internet and shit you see what i'm saying and then what it's like somehow dinner, that becomes dude? evidence when it's nothing Talks your dinner I just never understood it. I never understood it. Overwatch you understand trash, it. Overwatch trash, super chat and says there's a code that verifies your number. Yes, exactly. What does that mean? What does that there's mean? Now we straight up are gonna play stupid. Now at this point, somebody even told him how his own scam works. And he's just gonna pretend like he's dumb. Code that verifies your number. Huh? <laughs> what does that even mean? My number is public. So? That number was public since 2015. All right, but can I, if I know your number, can I fucking use your number to verify something? No, because I don't have access to your phone. That number was on the internet. I have no so fucking idea, dude. Like, what are you talking about? These people I, was, I have no idea any kind of defense. You know what I mean about these fucking people? And now this guy <laughs> will probably talk about this all day. Of course. We'll just keep, yeah, now we, now we deflected him. Deflect and call this guy a piece of shit or whatever. How is it called, Phil? Tem tell me how is this called? It's called moving the goalpost. Oh, it's called moving so, the goalpost. I'll say, no, what you're saying makes no sense. We're There's, moving you know, the That's not evidence of anything. So then they'll say something else ludicrous. I'll be like, okay, well, that's ludicrous. not evidence of anything. Then they'll say something else ludicrous. And that, you see what I mean? It's called moving the goalpost. They just keep pushing it further and further. Oh, there's, by the way, there's, by the way, uh, this fantastic thread. Maybe I can even find it on Kiwi Farms. Uh, that is very well put together. It's, it's inside the champions thread. And uh, it has all the, the evidence so far, I guess. I guess. Let me see if I can find it right now, right? And I'm going to maybe send it in chat. If I open up the chat in OBS, it's acting up again. But listen to this. And further and further. Until I just get tired of answering. And I just don't want to talk about it anymore because I just don't want to fucking waste time on it. But then that... Oh, see? So Phil couldn't answer every concern for three straight hours. So that means that it's all true. And that's how that's how they win. Because they that's have time for that win. shit. <laughs> you know? I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time to answer every ludicrous accusation you have. You're just out of your fucking mind, man. I, and now we're at, verify, on, uh, I don't have time. What? The number. Verify what number? The phone number? What do you mean? Yes, the phone number. That's what he means. Exactly the phone number. They mean you have to verify the number with a code that sense oh, attached to it. Oh, he acts like he's so okay. dumb. All right. Do you guys know, realize, and this is truthful, all, again, my emails, my phone numbers that I've had over the years, they're oh, constantly hit with shit like that. Constantly. No, that's not how it works, DSP. Shut the fuck up. Now here's where it starts, and it's long as fuck. So this like the whole table of contents. Number six is line app. Let's jump to number six. Playing various games, there's posts, there are a lot of stuff. Line app. Let's see what this is. Right? Line is simply a tool for actually I can use a certain robotic individual to read this. Enjoy. 
Line is simply a tool for instant communication that for some reason gained popularity amongst Champions players. Despite some of its users not wanting or even hating it, Reddit thread, archive, it's still demanded by some factions in order to join them. All right, so this is it. It is still demanded by some factions if you want to join them. Right, how does that link to Phil? It was discovered the DSP's phone number was registered to it. What? It's exactly his fucking number and he's called they call me DSP because dude couldn't even fucking lie about it. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. There's a link to the OG post if you care about that. Uh, then we go on to back to champions. This one of the faction uh, rafters was in and had the requirements optional. Look at this. Feuds are mandatory. One heal request at a time. Line app optional. Uh, now let's uh, TTS this whole thing. Let's see what it says. The app is not used in the US as much as in some parts of Asia or specific gaming communities. So it's odd that DSP would use it. He has said that he does not have time for friends and he avoids any kind of socialization on stream against his audience's wishes. No MP with fans, no mic, no collaborations. As an added observation, the name on the line account is they call me DSP, which is Rafter's initial one. If he were using this to contact relatives like his parents, it would be strange for him to use his Twitter handle as Nicknom. <laughs> Nicknom. Yeah, you see? It's his fucking number. And it, it, they know it's his number because James the Lesser called him and, and the voicemail picked up. And it's DSP. So it is this is his number and he's called they call me dsp on his phone number and to use the the app on the phone number you need to fucking verify it all right what else we got the app is not common in the us we got a transcript for his defense which is this this bullshit that we just listened to some a bunch of fucking lies uh let's see you can hear him pretending not to know how code verification works and actually, let's go through this one. This is the blooper video. And actually, this video I'm, I'm sure is very good. And I think it wasn't him. Somebody did like a basically a playthrough of how to register for the line app. I think it could be here. Um, oh yeah, it was Piece of Peace that did it. Here it is. Uh, no, this is not the video. This is This is it. Now let's see how the the application is used. All right. All right. So today we're let's going see. to test DSP. Let's get educated. Um, as long as you have his phone number, you can create a line account and basically, you know, impersonate him with just the knowledge of his phone number, you know, without anything else. So um, let's give that a shot. We'll just start from square one. Let's make a line account. Okay. Let's make okay, it. So call him. Uh, they call me DSP. And it's going to ask to send a text. So then you're, you're going to. Oh, you see, it sends a text. Right. Wow. And, uh, I'm so fascinated by technology. And to enter that number. And verification on your own phone. Uh oh. How does this work, dude? And then we're creating a new account. So, you know, right here, uh, we should already. Like, already debunk. Right? That there's a huge problem, which is that if I didn't have the phone number that I'm having this account sent to, I, I couldn't verify that account, right? Exactly. So unless, like, the text goes to the phone that it's being installed on, you can't, you can't, ve you know, verify the account to physically create the account. So exactly. Uh, so let's create the account, right? Exactly. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. All right, put in the password and okay. start adding friends. Fucking uh, nice. Okay, sure. I wonder how many DSP friends uh, he's got. How many champions players. Okay, now we sync the account data and yes. there we go. The line. So here's the, uh, here's the thing. Um, the thing is that, you know, you can, you can find, you know, if you have DSP's number, which. Yeah, uh, we can which, find them. Can you even you, find the guy? If you have DSP's number, you can actually, you know, find him, find him online, right? So, 
you you select the phone number, you put it in, and you get this. So the only way that this could exist is that oh, somebody with, the guy. with his phone number um, installed Line and received a text message from Line, entered in that verification code to Line, and at that point the account would be created, like you saw my account get created. There's there's no other way. So, you know, there's there's basically two scenarios, right? So scenario one is DSP created the line account. Scenario two is somebody broke in at night, uh, took his phone. <laughs> I did it, you guys. It was me. If he has one. I downloaded the line. You know, verified the line, and then left. <laughs> So, exactly. That's exactly so yeah, what um, happened. You know, just a, just another obvious thing. But anyway. Oh, I don't know what a, a mobile application is, you guys. So this was it. This was this debunk. So yeah. And also what it Anonymous said, because what Anonymous says is incredibly important. Line has dozens and dozens of sister services. I went through every last one and attempted to create an account for any of them without verifying with a code, and it doesn't fucking work. So amazing. And now let's listen to some more robot interaction because I'm not going to read all of this, obviously. And the, the robot lady got a much better accent than me. S. 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 This S means S. that without the device connected to the number, you cannot make an account with the exception of illegal activities mentioned later. The only thing to add to this is the possibility of making a dormant one not completed. That is an account which is stored in the database, but has not been confirmed. It sits there until it's finally verified, purged out of the system or stored indefinitely. However, you can see in Piece of Pieces video that you select your nickname after entering the code. Given that the account has a name, they call me DSP, it should mean that the person went through the full process. So what instances would make someone who is not DSP successful? It would either have to be by SIM swapping, or through some form of SMS interception. What about However, like, leaving aside such unlikely scenarios, <laughs> we come to DSP's other argument. You don't even know that I still use the same phone number. There are four problems with that, and an extra appended at the end. He's on record claiming that his old friends, John Rambo and company, could call him since he's the public persona with a public phone number. All right, and then we got uh, James the Lesser calling him, and it turns out that it's DSP's number, and that's it. Then we got one more, then we got to this. Oh, then we got recovery options. And there's a massive explanation here, of course, if you care. I'm probably going to link this in the description later, so you can go and check it out. Plus, it's not hard to find. You go into the Champions thread, and it's on one of the last pages. Here we got what? Uh, coincidences in obscure lore between DSP and a, the Gacha Gamer. I can actually do a TTS on this whole thing, and we can go through the whole thing. Uh, let's see what is the the coincidences. The police report that DSP did. Okay, let's start from here. There's yet another coincidence between DSP and Rafters that involves obscure lore. It would be either impossible or very difficult to know by someone else other than DSP unless they take a wild guess. It was found that Rafters had a Masters of the Universe, Motu, toy when he talked about it in one of Champion's Discord servers. <laughs> this toy is now considered vintage and was apparently one of the rarer ones at the time due to his light in the dark selling points. Fuck We're talking yeah. about was late flexing 80s about or 90s. Toys. Dude was flexing about toys and uh, let's see the actual messages. What did he say? Did he flex a lot? And now before everything before this part, basically, it's uh, it's it's the generalized like lore and him admitting that he spent money on mobile games before and he did. And I think he did quite a bit. Now, here we go. The champion server. Oh, we got some picks. Let's open up some picks what did he say which uh, master character is the new taker based on skeletor isn't triple h skeletor 
Not that Skeletor had a sledgehammer. Then again, He-Man didn't have that giant golden staff. Man, the, the, the shit that this guy does in those fucking servers. What are you fucking doing, DSP? Go learn to edit some fucking videos. Why are you fucking around with, with some dudes talking about Skeletor and Master of the Universe? You're a 40-year-old man. And then we got Gamebox, which is not TJ Gamebox, because that doesn't make sense. And uh, I don't remember the show. I played the shit out of my toys till their arms came off. That's a DSP thing. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, the glowing skeleton. And, oh crap, I had them. So DSP had them. So this is one of the, the small lore segments. And you can see here, this is what the toy was. And it was super awesome. Really cool. Looks super cool, man. Let's go with the next paragraph. However, DSP also had that specific toy, which he went on to describe in detail in a future video, way after Rafters mentioning it. This coincidence just makes it more difficult for them to be different people, especially considering that this piece of information was never mentioned by DSP prior to that point, or at least no evidence has been found of it. Rafters would have to guess this and risk making an inconsistency if he were someone who was trying to impersonate him. Because consider the other option than this being DSP is somebody actively trying to pretend like it's DSP. And here we have a, a video on YouTube about DSP admitting. You see, it's a glowing skeleton figure, if I'm remembering correctly. I think I had it. Okay, the profile pic. Let's go with the profile pic. The Discord account that Rafters used had a very particular image, which is this one. The, the fucking fill image. I fucking hate this picture so much. It's so annoying. It's so punchable. Uh, then we got... What is this? Bot? False. Badges? None. Oh, there's a lot of writing here. Let's uh, let's go through this writing in super... ETS mode. The earliest evidence of that is this archive. You can see that the capture reading, was made bro? roughly at the time displayed, since the... Repl yo, yo, what are you reading, girl? I Hold, on. Hold on. Started reading something else. <laughs> what is she reading? The earlier fucking weirdness. This stream is just very weird because it's Saturday and I'm lazy as fuck. Um, I don't even want to read at this point. Completely given up on life. That was my depression. Okay, we mark this. Right click. Read aloud. Is it very difficult for this to be anyone else other than Philip himself? Starting with Twitter. When you upload a picture as an avatar, the website seems to crop and then upload, leaving it as a square. It's possible that many years ago, the platform would allow for rectangle PFP images to be uploaded and stored, that doesn't seem to be the case now or at the time this was being looked at. Twitter's current API doesn't seem to have anything that would allow you to get the full, rectangle avatar if someone were to upload that meaning that the only available file you can download from someone else's profile is the post crop squared image. Yeah. This is where DSP's Twitter comes into play. He did have that image set as his PFP for a very short period of time. However, it was cropped differently. At that time, oh, he did you not see? upload it in any other platform very either. Instagram, The King of Fate, YouTube, etc. And it would be kept that way long after Rafter's Discord deletion. The earliest evidence of that is this archive. You can see that the capture was made roughly at the time displayed, since the reply was made 22 seconds ago at the time it was caught, and 6 minutes after. Ack, ack, ack. So this is also the, the picture being cropped differently means that you can't just go on Twitter and right click his photo because it's going to give you the rectangle photo. As, as good as I understood, so he used the other fucking photo, the original one, I guess. So this, the one, the previous tweet made two and a half hours earlier is with a no meth, no picture whatsoever. Uh, more evidence is that Kiwi Farms noticed it, so yeah, this, this person made fun of him. It's fucking funny. And then we have a bunch of archives. Okay, he went on using that for a week. There are other archives being made. And also you can see this is very detailed. Now listen to this. This is a uh, very detailed analysis. Now, now for okay. Rafters to be able to display such image in his Discord profile, he would have needed to acquire it from DSP's Twitter, 
as all available evidence suggests. The problem is that his image contains more data or pixels not present in DSPs. Both are cropped into a square with one having more image data above his head and the other more from below. Um, Comparing and You could, just as a by the way, you could make this in Photoshop. You could uh, do, what was it, content aware fill and it's going to basically expand the photo, especially if you need it a little bit. But this is assuming, this is assuming somebody wanted to go through all of this work to pretend being DSP and spend all this money on on champions to pretend being DSP at which point it's like uh, how like what is not going to fucking happen and overlaying both one grabbed from discord and the other from the twitter archives presented as a .gif file a reasonable conclusion is that for him to have the lowered angle one when DSP never shared the full image publicly, he would have to be the same person. Speculation on this is that DSP, as the gotcha gamer, slightly misplaced his PFP without knowing when he said it for Discord. His initial reason for doing this could have been his means to insult all his detractors by making such blatant connection. What? If that's the case, he did not account for making the cropping mistack. Oh yeah, this, yeah. Of course. Imagine if, uh, even furthermore crazy, it's actually a fan of DSP. Hey, what's up, uh, Domino's Pizza Corporate? Let me find where we were, because it scrolls up every time. Now, here we got this, we just read this. Then we got second Discord leaks, very curious. Oh, and a, and a big graph, we're gonna analyze the fuck out of this. Man, this is very long. Alright, let's start with the, this thing. On March 2021, that Anani Mouse leaked the content of DSP's second mod chat, which included his new account. When you least expect it. Big ups for the sub, Teeman. Yeah, big ups to Teeman for the sub. And this is, yeah, you are right. There, this much evidence before even the leaks. Uh, the TTS software is simply Microsoft Edge. You mark whatever you want, right click, and you cl uh, click on read aloud, and then you can pick a bunch of voices, but this is the only one that is actually good. All right, this would be my post on a... Oh, no, this is... Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk... No! Stop this. I lost it again. And now this is the downside of, of this TTS that I have to re-go down every time. Uh... Okay, here we have. Now we're talking about second Discord leaks. The leakening part two. Electric Discord Boogaloo. Uh, where did the reading? Continue read aloud. Okay, on, let's go. On March 2021, that Anani Mouse leaked the content of DSP's second mod chat, which included his new account, statements about champions and other interesting claims unrelated to uh -oh. the topic. Kiwi Farms thread archive using similar reasoning as in the PFP image section. It was verified that this new account belonged to him because of the unique cropping. Not only that, but was also addressed during live stream. Spoiler: Addressing Anani leaks. Okay. YouTube um, live stream credits to Ruth stuff. Oh, this we we've watched this whole T thing. Kiwi it's Farms not... post archive. Bro, stop it, girl. And by using the same method. The new account's creation was obtained and cross-referenced with the dates of other events, namely the first Discord leaks, ID 69919887670758609. Okay. As shown okay. in the graph above, those were the four known avatars Rafters had. His account deletion was noticed around the 14 to 15 of August of 2020 with a margin of error of a week at most. Account deletion in this case would mean that the profile would finally lose the PFP and be named deleted user, random string, asterisk reporting on deleted profile, Kiwi Farms post, archive. Back to DSP's statements within mod chat, there is one that needs to be addressed. This message in particular was his response to Swaggins after he informed him about Lightside BYLL's post, linked BYLL. above. BYLL. <laughs> okay, this one I gotta read myself because this is super important. Um, okay, they think that getting info about this Discord is like the holy grail because we talk about so much behind the scenes stuff here. Of course, top secret. 
in regards to DRS Gangsta. Uh, it's likely we'll e never actually know what really happened. From what I've read about it on Kiwi Farms, my best guess? Here's what I think went down. He was a fan in the fact that he watched me a lot and I even think he did multiplayer with me years ago. Holy shit, this guy's tedious to read. I fucking hate this. I can't even TTS this. Okay. Uh, this is complete speculation. So this, he's making shit up. This whole thing so far was made, made up bullshit. I think he leaked a bunch of stuff from this Discord from the early months of the year. Including a couple of convos about chargebacks on PayPal and a chatter who had autism. Okay, he then abruptly quit being a mod with no explanation at all and deleted all his shit everywhere. He also gave them my account info, which was my old Discord that I got rid of. Okay. Okay, important. And that's the account info they reference in everything they've posted up about that stupid mobile game. It's also likely the account you just mentioned being deleted. Uh, when DRS Gangsta left here, I stopped using that account entirely and only left it open because I thought my Twitch contact would still be around. Once I found out he wasn't, I deleted it and that was the last month. But I've seen entire pages of shit about the account, showing it having discussions with apparent players of that mobile game and having talks on other servers. It's obvious these people are so obsessive over me that they took that tiny piece of info and use it to fabricate a metric shit ton of fake stuff, making their conspiracies deeper and more believable. Holy fuck. Okay, now we get to uh, TTS this whole thing yet again. Asterisk, the first highlight in orange corroborates that the conversations in the first Discord leaks are real, by direct admission and by the mentioned topic, PayPal chargebacks and chatter with autism. Asterisk, the second highlight in red is consistent with the timeline. DSP not only claims that DRS Gangsta gave detractors his old account's info, but also adds that it's the one he deleted a month prior. As shown in the graph above, the date coincides since Discord takes roughly a month or little less to process deletion, at least, this is how Discord would operate during that year. It also gives credibility to the theory that he opened that account to communicate with his Twitch contact, as explained in the account's creation date and DSP's Twitch suspension section. Asterisk the third highlight in green is suggesting that detractors used DRS Gangsta's leaks in order to fabricate conversations on Champion's dedicated servers, meaning the name, numeric discriminator, and PFP being truly his, but doctored within a Champion's server. Bro, this is if like, nobody would do this. Nobody would do this. Nobody would do this. Why is he like, oh my god, he's so stupid even in, in his fucking lies. They're so dumb. Somebody photoshopped discord messages between dsp and some guy if on the on on the on the champions thing the case all needed to be proven is that the account was really in there to explain this in detail first is worth mentioning that not only several people saw him there or that there's captures or that there's extracts but there's also video evidence of it oh no there's video evidence let's dive into the video evidence here we go Posted roughly 11 p.m. Now, this is... I don't know what this exactly, but let's see it. This is a screen cap. Oh, what do we have here from Discord? Somebody's using the bright Discord, which is not super positive. I don't know to which extent. Oh, yeah, you can see pretty well. Okay, hey, all, I'd like to introduce myself. I've been in and out of this faction a few times under different names in the last one to two months. I have one of the biggest rosters in the game and was formerly on the council of a top 5 faction. This all changed when a group of internet trolls mistook me for someone else, some idiot video game streamer that they hate. They have stalked me since January, leading me to get kicked out of my faction for no good reason. I've changed my name and the game to no avail as they still stalk and find me. At this point, I'm I'm done running and I'm going to stay with Road Warriors for the foreseeable future. If you have any questions, 
this man wrote fucking paragraphs to other fucking gacha gamers. Man, how dumb is this guy? And then we have, this is the whole thing. Yeah, as you can see, this is the whole thing. People talking about rosters and stuff. And down from the rafters, you see, they call me DSP hashtag 4058. And this is an interactive video, by the way. And as we can see up here, it was still here somewhere. Where is it? Fucking they call me DSP, that, that same one. And here in this fucking message that was in red, he confirms that it was him using that account. And that was the deleted account. Oh, piggy piggy and your filthy lies. And the bad lies as well. They're trash li lies. Uh, okay, now this was the video. There was, what is this, screenshots to Hogan and, uh, yeah, discussions about Hogan's and stuff. We also have a link to the to, to the server. Okay, let's continue from here. From here on. I'll ask for definitive proof on that end that should still work until Discord changes how it operates or purges old data. Rafter slash DSP's unique ID 42904347968392397. Is still traceable and has been openly uh -oh. to everyone for over a year minimum this post explains it in detail includes video kiwi farms post archive the first thing required was to find out in which server these old messages were made the list spoiler screenshots all right so this is what we got once that's done this is what we got he's talking about hogan's he's literally talking about hogan's Done. If you go there, those posts from the currently deleted user belongs to DSP. However, you should know that because the account was closed, if you copy its ID, it'll be different than the one we know. It defaults to 456226577798135808, which is often slash always reserved for deleted user number 0000. That goes for the avatar as well. It's displayed as the standard Discord blue logo. This is how the platform handles deletion for normal posts. There should be no way to retrieve the unique 18-digit code from those messages and link them to anyone. Just the empty remains that confirm all identifying data was lost, leaving aside an exception because of stored metadata. The link to the server, VMZXCSMQ up. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the link. If you go to the channel chat and search for something he said, like nobody uses the other setup BC, you'll be able to jump to his post. Sadly, all the people there tagged his name with that before it, so it automatically updated to deleted user, anonymizing it. However, in order to prove that the user mentioned was in fact they call me DSP number 4058 is by reverse searching his unique 18 digit <laughs> Prepare for ID. this one, this one's gonna be amazing. <laughs> If Phenomenal. you put that on the search bar, put it'll show you the all the bar. results when people tagged him, and only him. Somehow the 18 digit remains stored in the tags, only accessible via reverse search, not otherwise, so this proves that the account they call me DSP number 4058 was in that server talking about the game with other people. Ob obligatory clarification, it does not prove which posts are from him amongst other possible deleted users. But it does 100% prove that he was in there and people were tagging him about champions. If you check it right now... <laughs> Do we need more? He was inside there, talking to people about champions. <laughs> Let's keep going, robot lady. Let's keep going. Now Let's for yourself, this. it should look like in the spoiler below. And if you jump to the one from Magic Man, yeah, it'll I'm not put gonna you do right this where now, those old screenshots were. You get the were. idea. If you want to verify that this works, copy the ID from someone else then search for it, it'll give you all mentions if there are, again, works until Discord revamps its code or purges old metadata. Alright, you see? Put in the number and the deleted user comes out, okay? How I read this in TTS, uh, mark it in Microsoft Edge, right click and read aloud. And that's how life works. Oh, and we have business expenses. Let's talk about that a little bit. Let's talk about that. I love business expenses. You know, I love spending In millions January of dollars. In January 2020, DSP filed for bankruptcy. 
Hiwi Farms thread. Wait, Streamlabs bot? Streamlabs bot wasn't here when I was trying to run my fucking command. Let's see, does the command work right now? Is the 8 ball gonna work? It's supposed to work. No, fucking Streamlabs. But it does the lurking. Thanks for the fucking lurking quote, Streamlabs, you asshole. That's why I don't use Streamlabs anymore. Fuck Streamlabs, a terrible business. He documents available. His official Form 122A1 showed that he was accumulating over 5,000 US dollars in business expenses every month, not to be confused with his other monthly $5,000 for personal. Of course, this makes little sense for someone who barely improves the quality of his streams. <laughs> right on, right on. Of course, this makes very little sense. Yeah, because it's fake as fuck. There's no way. There is no way. Streams, especially when he's expected to take the initiative instead of relying on his fans. Specifically, when asked by the trustee, DSP stated during his 341 A meeting with the creditors that those expenses were comprised by. Full 341 hearing, YouTube, timestamped at 27 oh, yeah. this is 20. A, this is a massive thing. This is a massive thing. What does it say? Anything relating to the business, okay? Cost of a video game subscription for a video game now pay attention to this a micro transaction within a video game cost of a new piece of equipment maintenance on equipment internet costs utilities necessary for the business by the way cell phone for the business cell phone for the business does he get calls from fucking twitch on his cell phone uh Yo, Streamlabs is, is trolling at, literally trolling at this point. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Everything is for the business. He has a wife for the business. Fucking wild, man. As it's believed that the inflated expenses contain WWE Champions purchases as microtransactions, something that was not further investigated by the trustee during the hearing, or as a report to the appropriate US attorney for suspected violations. Asterisk analysis of bankruptcy documents and hearing by lawyer Rikita bankruptcy petition. Re okay, if why? you care about all of this, not a why. If you care about all of this, go on the thread, find the thing, click on the thing, listen to the thing. And yeah, that's that's how it works. Now we got ID confirmation by some admins. Some people, I guess. What does it say? After the Discord leaks, Xmod Anonymous. Oh yeah, that's him, okay? Explicitly confirmed that the first leak screenshots were real and not doctored. Alright. Then we got DSP's unique 18 digit. Now we're back on Discord. Very interesting. Uh, then we're on the bank leaks. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, talk about the bank leaks, huh? On September 2021, some of DSP's bank statements were leaked to the public thread extended archive this was verified as true when several kiwi farms users confirmed it directly by calling bank of america and taking advantage of either the bank's security procedures or dsp's negligence to strengthen his own account's security it was documented on video at the time but most of the links are currently taken down to avoid legal problems Videos not taken down, video taken down, video taken down, DSP also had to address the situation. <laughs> what is the videos parent? not taken down? What is the, the videos that are not taken down? What is this? This from uh, here? Oh yeah, this has been taken down as well. Video unavailable. I think somebody just simply took it down. Yeah, this is alright. Uh, okay, oh and there's some backups. Oh, here it is. 44 minutes! Wow, what is this? One. Oh, hello, press one. Stay press one, one for champions. And this is basically it. You can see and listen to this on April 9th, 1651. Preauthorized transaction PayPal. Fucking nice. Uh, now DSP addressed the bank leaks because, of course, he would. Then we got, regardless of how it was obtained, it shows some very interesting stuff. Let's see what it shows. The data shows suspicious over expenditures like pre-authorized payment from PayPal at $16.51 that are believed to be connected to champions. 
as well as charges for Apple iTunes at $109.99 each. Asterisk reminder that in one of the transcripts above, DSP touches the subject of iTunes credits and how he did not use them for anything related to music but for Hearthstone, a collectible online card game that he played on his phone. Uh oh. DSP talks about <laughs> iTunes, YouTube, timestamped at 1809. Yeah. DSP plays Hearthstone on mobile, YouTube. Credits to David Davidson. Big ups David Davidson and uh, Mr. Hot Stuff for the Gotcha King. Look at this. Pre-authorized PayPal. 1651, 1651, 1651. Then we got Microsoft, Comcast, iTunes. 112 to iTunes because maybe 112 to PayPal would be a little bit suspicious. Uh, this is not new stuff. No, none of this is new stuff. This is text-to-speech from a Kiwi Farms thread post. Detailing all the evidence about DSP. This is nothing new here. It's just uh, basically a wrap up because I'm very interested. I I was interested in how the how the line app works to begin with. So then I just went down the rabbit hole and now we're on Kiwi Farms listening to robots telling us about a lot of money, and uh, sounds good. Now let's continue. The next one is change of names and time frame. And right here we're towards the end. But I want to talk about the money spent, because let's assume at this point that this is DSP, because it's just, come on, who else can it be? Somebody who stole his phone? Alright, uh, let's go to the money spent, because this is very, very interesting. And um, I'm going to give the robot lady the intro, and then I'm going to read the Ch lots of money. Champions offers a VIP system where a player can earn VIP points by doing certain actions like daily missions, which are free. However, the game is designed to get as much money as it can from its players. That's why you can also earn these points by paying for them, usually along some other valuables like in-game currency and such. Fans of the game calculated how much you'd have to spend in order to max your VIP level. As of now, 13 is the maximum. The calculation starts from level 8, which is more than reasonable in order to filter out the VIP points you'd have collected by doing free missions even if for a long time. Yeah, that's a good point. Base VIP points per $100. 15,000. Level. Points to reach. Okay, I'm going to read this because she's going to have a real tough time. Now, here we have from level 9 to 13. Uh, it's going to take you from level 8 about 38,000 in total to get to level 13 that he had as of that point of writing. Level 13 in VIP. See, 38,000. That could have gone on a honeymoon. They could have gone on a present for Cat. They could have gone on taxes. No, they went on Hogan's. Of course they did. And this is the initial amount. But, as it says here, however, given the nature of the game and the size of the roster, that digit would be an extreme underestimate. Because all the fucking other characters that he got that are maxed out, they cost a lot of money. And then there's an explanation of why I'm not gonna read this. Again, if you care about the super, super details, you can come here, read everything. It's a fantastic thread. I'm gonna link this in the description after the stream is done. And uh, what else we got? There's some examples. Yeah, exactly. TJ Gamebox explaining exactly how uh, the game is played. He, DSP was busy over the weekend. His score was a lot. And to get a minimum score of, let's say, 10,000, you need $919. Now, it is possible DSP did a ton of grinding, essentially. But if we give him 250,000 in points, that's still... $850 still and this is we're not even being super like ambitious with the numbers it's just kind of a minimum kind of a minimum and then we get more and more and more of those and you get screenshots of how much stuff costs and how the life works you get very detailed explanations because these people are very very dedicated to proving bullshit and this is why this thread exists and it's great now let's uh, talk about some bonus gem damage and this uh, last Ten paragraph here. screenshot archive due to this behavior and spending habits that the current evidence can't completely cover since there are other methods for purchase that cannot be tracked by outsiders 
the initial digit of expenses could have easily surpassed the 100,000 US dollars mark oh, by now. Oh no. In fact, that's most likely the case given what has been presented above. Bonus gem damage. DSP hey, has been morning, caught Goldie. mentioning What's the up? phrase bonus gem damage during one of his live streams uh -oh. as a slip of the tongue. The term <laughs> is occasionally used in WWE champions for the superstar's moves. Unlike in Fallout, New Vegas, the game DSP was playing when this happened. The capture shows exactly what he was reading on screen. Video links will be provided in the source below. Spoiler, sources. And basically this was the end of the post. Uh, tweet with video agent proper stream DSP stream. Let's see if this is still up. I'm stamp at 121. Just saying. The Liberator bonus gem damage. Uh, oh, what? Bonus gem damage. Nice. Bonus gem damage completely retracted that, that statement and walked it back immediately after he realized what he said. Bonus gem damage. Oh, no. Pretty sure when Dead Sea woke up today, he wasn't expected to turn into a pile uh, of dust. Just saying. The Liberator bonus Listen. gem damage. Uh, gem damage. Uh, uh, knife. Knife. Hey. Eh, I don't need that. And then I had to do the obnoxious eh to distract people from the gem damage. Holy shit. It's the fucking guy, man. Look at this. And it's not... This is the thing, that, that some people just want to look for the good in people and give them the benefit of the doubt. But look at the size of this thread. How many times can you give this guy the benefit of the doubt? How many times? Even if you try and say, man, yeah, it's probably the fucking trolls. You know, they follow him around. They're assholes to him. They try to fuck with his life. They would try and do something like this, right? But when the pieces start to fit in one after the other, all the pieces come together with the Discord stuff and people admitting they did actually talk to him in Discord with a line app, which only exclusively could have been verified from his own personal phone that is personally right there in his hands. All these specific discussions about action figures, all these specific numbers and specific stats from Discord, all this specific creating stuff like in Piece of Peace video where he created a line app account by himself. All this shit just fucking fits. It just fucking fits. And at this point, I can't be convinced it's anybody else but fucking DSP. I can't be convinced. There's nothing you can say. And if if it is if it's a troll, it's the best fucking troll. Come out, admit it. I'm gonna delete my channel if it's a troll. Legit. And then I don't I don't really know what else we can watch. Some more of this. Uh, I I want to see him address this in Fallout, uh, because uh, I watched a little bit of this clip earlier. I think. Uh, yeah, the Champions Archive, I, I took a look at this earlier. It's all the times when somebody called his name in Champions and he made a weird, like, not understanding reaction. Uh, let's see him address this and probably after this I'm just gonna go. See, I don't know there's- I have shit to do, dude. It's, uh, real life. There's been so many stupid conspiracies I don't even know how so to- So many stupid how conspiracies. Even... But this was, a uh, kind of a cool small stream debunking the whole, um, uh, line app in wwe stuff and for me to do my research to be a hundred thousand percent sure that it, that he fucking did it how do you even discern between them anymore right when there's so many <laughs> there's so many yeah let's see which one the thing is if i bring one like for example there's one going on where people claim that there's some application out there that i've never used or heard of i guess it's called line app but this credit like, for, oh. for assembling all of this goes to uh, We Are The Witches on Kiwi Farms. Like I said, I'm gonna post this because this I didn't put this shit together. They put this shit together. I don't know who this person is. Allegedly, it's Mora Moria from DSP's forum, but that's allegedly. I, I have absolutely no clue. So yeah, go re read through this if you're hesitant, if you want to know more, uh, if you care. And yeah, that's it. What is Lion App, dude? I, I still don't know. We found that the cell phone number that we know is yours because it was doxxed on the internet years ago. Oh, this, I watched cell phone this. Number I watched this. Wait, what? Royal. Oh, it's the six man battle royal. Then I guess this is going to be it for this stream. I fulfilled my purpose, basically. And big ups, everybody. I'm sorry that it was early, but it's nothing I could do. 
I just, this is the time I could do it. Now, look at this song that is back to back, and that's gonna be it. Thanks, everybody. The redemption can easily collide. He's similar to the beat, I drop my bars on it, and we go. 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 Liquid Richard, Richard, this is low, 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 tears, God. Check this out, this out, this out. I'm a fat fuck, but you know you hoe love me. That flow is out of sound like a week ago. Whole system broken like it's color go. Vision, I stick pussies with precision. Vision, I stick pussies with a hot kitchen. I hit it from the back.